Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to do my September book haul. I have a couple of different categories. I have some that my friend sent me, some that I got from Artvark Book Club, some that I got off of Pango Books, and then new books that I got from like Barnes and Noble. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into my September book haul. All right, top of the stack is My Lucky Charm by Courtney Walsh. My friend April sent this to me. We did a exchange over my Patreon, The Night Owls, which is always linked down below, but we do seasonal or quarterly exchanges. And the past exchange that we did was Gorgeous Green. So you had to curate a box of green items and a green book to send to your partner. She was my partner. This is the book that she sent me and I'm so excited about it. Um, I'm hoping to read these in the new year. So it says a humiliating breakup leads to an impulsive New Year's kiss with a complete stranger. What could possibly go wrong? So I actually have a few Courtney Walsh books on my TBR now. So I definitely need to get to them because when I read Across Country Christmas, I really, really enjoyed it. And I just need to get back into her writing. Next up, my friend Wendy so kindly and generously sent me um, The Well-Watered Woman by Gretchen Saffles. This is a book that I actually added to my wish list because Wendy recommended it. And I am, first of all, it's just beautiful, but it was a like present for my recent baptism and it just means so much to me. And I know I'm going to get so much out of this. It's absolutely beautiful and I just can't wait to start reading this. This probably won't be a book like I just like sit down and read start to finish. I mean, it might be, but my plan is to start it and just slowly make my way through it. So thank you so much, Wendy. You are the literal best. Um, it's just discovering the bottomless reflection refreshing well of God's word and experiencing fullness and peace beyond your circumstance. So thank you so much. It means so much and I'll treasure it forever. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about my Aardvark Book Club box, which if you don't know, I do work with Aardvark Book Club over on my podcast, Talk Bookish to Me. And if you want to use my code, it's Talk Bookish, all one word, and you get your first book for only $4. And when I say this year has been like amazing for picks, it's been amazing y'all and next month is actually their two-year anniversary so i will be going live going over their october picks and what they're offering but it would be a great time to sign up and support them and you can of course use my code to get a brand new hardcover fiction book for only four dollars so i ended up picking three books this month and I went with a few things like out of my comfort zone or at least one out of my comfort zone. Lady Macbeth by Ava Reed. Definitely not one I thought I would add to my box, but there's just something about this cover and I thought, why not? Why not give this a go? You know, so this says, um, a reimagining of Lady Macbeth, Shakespeare's most famous villainess, giving her a voice, a past, and a power that transforms the story men have written for her. And this is what the naked hardcover book looks like. Again, it's kind of bright, but I'm trying my best here. Um, but yeah, very beautiful, um, great covers, high quality it could be yours for only four dollars um okay next up i picked their thriller pick which was red river road by anna downs i have not read a book by this author yet and i have been wanting to so i'm excited that this was an option is she running for safety or being driven into darkness? This is about Katie going on the search for her sister after she disappeared. And this takes place in Australia. And yeah, on a twist filled journey into the dark side of solo female travel in this gripping novel that explores what drives us to keep searching for those we have lost and family bonds that can make or break us and the deception of memory. 
So, man, I'm really looking forward to this, you guys. Really looking forward to it. And then the third and final book that I got in my box, definitely the one that had me squealing and so excited, So Thirsty by Rachel Harrison. I am a huge Rachel Harrison fan. And the bonus about getting your copy from Aardvark this month is it came signed. So you really can't get that much. You could get this for $4 signed from Aardvark. Like, what? But I'm really looking forward to this book. Um, she really does write great horror books that have like different kind of monsters each book. This one is obviously vampire themed. Um, I will be reading this next month for my Night Owl book club. This one says a woman must learn to take life by the throat after a night out leads to irrevocable changes in this juicy thrilling novel from the author of Such Sharp Teeth and Black Sheep. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I hope I love it because I kind of hated Black Sheep. But that's the only one that I really haven't liked. The other ones I have liked, Such Sharp Teeth is my favorite. So we'll see where this falls in my Rachel Harrison lineup. But looking forward to it. The next stack of books are all ones that I got off of Pango Books, um, which is kind of a used book website where other people list their books. You can list your books and then, you know, you buy each other's books um, and then you get credit in your Pango account, which you can transfer to your bank account, or you can just leave your Pango books in your account and then you have Pango Books that you can use to buy other books. Does any of this make sense? I do have a Pango bookstore. It's closed currently right now because I'm in a kind of like transition space right now. So um, I don't have it open right now, but from time to time, um, I do have my Pango bookstore open and I usually post about it on Instagram at Lavender Mud or at Talk Bookish Podcast uh, when it's open and I've added new things and stuff like that. But you can just find me. I think it's Gwendolyn Kensinger or something like that. All right. The first one I got is The Things We Keep by Sally Hepworth. Sorry, it's so, it's just a bright white cover, but The Things We Keep by Sally Hepworth is one of her backlist books that I've really been interested in. I've heard it's a very emotional read. And this is one that like Keisha from A Book Like You convinced me to read when she came on my podcast and we talked all about Sally Hepworth and her books. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. In this one, you have Anna Foster, who's only 38 years old, but her mind is slowly slipping away from her. Armed with only her keen wit and sharp-eyed determination, she knows that her family is doing what they believe to be best when they take her to Rosalind House, an assisted living facility. But Anna has a secret. She does not plan on staying. She also knows there's just one other resident who is her age, Luke. What she does not expect is that love blossoms between her and Luke even as she resists her new life. As her disease steals more and more of her memory, Anna fights to hold on to what she knows including her relationship with Luke. So I'm looking forward to this being an emotional read, one I'm going to cry about and yeah I just can't wait to read this one. And then some other ones that I got are for some special things coming up in the new year, um, which I will be talking more about mid-November. So just make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can find out anything that I'm announcing. Um, okay, the first one is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. Um, yes, this is outside my comfort zone. This is a YA fantasy book. I have heard so many good things and I figured if I'm gonna dive back into some fantasy it might as well be YA and I know this is the first book in a series so if I like it I'll have more to read. I've heard it's kind of like the Hunger Games a little bit. Only the extraordinary belong to the kingdom of Isla the exceptional, the elites. The elites have possessed powers for decades gifted to them by the plague or those born extraordinary are just that banished from the kingdom of Isla and shunned from society. So there's names, places, things that I'm going to struggle with, but I'm excited at the same time. I love how they have these little like flowers and stuff on the chapter 
page. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I won't be doing it alone. You know, I won't be doing it alone, but it does have a map, which is exciting. Um, yeah, I'll be reading this in 2025. Um, I also picked up Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. I've read two or three other books by him. Um, my grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry. And every morning the way home gets longer and longer. And I thought there was one more, but I am excited to read this one. I will also be reading this in 2025. Uh, I'm sure everybody knows about this book because it's like super popular and well loved. Um, a tiny community deep in the forest, Bear Town, hasn't been the best at anything in a long time, but down by the lake stands an old ice rink, and in that ice rink, Kevin, Emmett, Benji, and the rest of the town's junior ice hockey team are about to compete in the national semifinals, and they actually have a shot at winning. All the hopes and dreams of this place now rest on the shoulders of a handful of teenage boys. So, interested? excited. And then the last book that I recently picked up from Pango is Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna because you guys know I love Kristen Hanna. Um, every single book that I have read by Kristen Hanna has been five stars and this is a great story about two friends through the years and it shows them in different decades of their life and how their friendship grows and stuff like that. It's also been adapted. Obviously it has like the little Netflix thing here but yes I'm looking forward to this one and I thought it was so sweet that the seller included this crocheted heart bookmark. So I'm really looking forward to this. Sometimes a novel comes along that speaks to a generation. Spanning more than three decades and playing across, playing out across the ever-changing face of the Pacific Northwest, Firefly Lane is the international best-selling story of two women and the friendship that defines their lives. I cannot wait to read this. Okay, the last stack of books that I want to share with you today are all ones that I bought at the bookstore. There's a lot. Okay, All This and More by Ping Shepherd. Um, I read The Cartographers by this author and I absolutely loved it. It just like snuck up on me and I really hope I love this one too because it could be like a new favorite author you guys. That doesn't happen very often. Um, this is an inventive new novel about a woman who wins the chance to rewrite every mistake she's ever made and how far she'll go to find her elusive happily ever after. But there's a twist. The reader gets to decide what she does next to change her fate. Wow. I, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So that's also going to be happening in 2025. I decided to go ahead and pick up The Life Impossible by Matt Haig, a beloved author. Um, look at these end pages also. So pretty. Um, I've read one or two books by Matt Haig. Let's see. The Humans I have on my TBR. The Midnight Library I have read. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the ones that I'm thinking of. But anyway, this is the newest release by the author. And it's about a retired math teacher named Grace Winters, who is left a rundown house on a Mediterranean island by a long lost friend. Curiosity gets the better of her and she arrives in Embeza with a one way ticket, no guidebook and no plan. Filled with wonder and wild adventure, this is a story of hope and the life-changing power of a new beginning. So I'm hoping I like this. If I don't like this, I'm probably just going to go ahead and unhaul the humans because I've had that on my TBR forever, but I'm actually more interested in this one. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay. I 
love Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I've read the Natural series. I'm in the middle. Well, I've read the trilogy for the Inheritance Games and I am continuing on in that. And so I wanted to pick up the first book in another series by her, Little White Lies, which is part of the Debutante series. I don't I'm not 100% sure. Scandals, Scheming, Secrets, Meet the Debutantes. Um, that's all I really want to know going in because I have so much fun just discovering like what her books have. Oh my gosh, look at this. That is so fun. Yes, okay. This is going to be so much fun. But I'm going to read it eventually. Um, hopefully I love it and I continue on in the series. Um, I don't know if you saw, but Jessie did announce her Sleep When I'm Dead book club picks for the rest of the year. And I'm very excited about all of them. I have a couple of them on pre-order, but one I was able to get my hands on was The Gift by Frida McFadden. This is a tiny little novella under 50 pages. Oh, it is 50 pages. Okay, it's exactly 50 pages, but Jessie's going to be reading this in December and having like a discussion and she's actually doing like a solo episode for her, her book discussion. So make sure you pick it up. It's available, I believe, on Kindle Unlimited. You can listen to it on audiobook. Like how long is it going to take you to read 50 pages or listen to 50 pages? Not that long, but I want all of you to come up with like great questions that she can answer and stuff like that. But yeah. I picked up the physical copy because I just like to have the physical copies. I also picked up The Most by Jessica Anthony and I haven't heard the best thing since I picked it up. I'm a little nervous about it, you know, but it sounds so good. So maybe, maybe it will actually be good. Okay, listen to the synopsis. It is an unseasonably warm Sunday in November 1957. Kathleen, a college tennis champion turned Delaware housewife, decides not to join her handsome husband Virgil and their two boys at church. Instead, she takes a dip in the swimming pool of her family's apartment complex, and then she won't come out. Set over the course of eight hours, the most breaches the shimmering surface of a seemingly idyllic marriage, immersing us in the unspoken truth beneath. So it's kind of giving me our wives under the sea, um, but I hope I like it actually. And it's short, so I should be able to get through it quickly. Let me know if you've read this. I'm nervous now, but I'm excited also. So I don't know. I also picked up some spooky middle grade because the 24 hour spooky middle grade spooktacular is happening October 11th to 12th and I don't have any unread spooky middle grade on my shelf so I picked up these. I picked up Empty Smiles because um, I wanted the paperback copy so I've been kind of waiting for it because I've read the first three books in the series. I want to finish out the series. Um, this is just so much fun. It's about a group of friends and the smiling man and things happening. I really don't want to read the synopsis. I just want to kind of go into this one not knowing much other than it's probably set at this crazy carnival type place. Um, and then I recently picked up, um, this recently released also, The Ghosts of Nameless Island by Carly Ann West. And it is about a 12 year old boy named Gus Greenberg who can see ghosts. He uses this paranormal superpower to help them go on. But when Gus and his mom move into an old mansion on the mysterious and remote nameless island, he meets a ghost that set out to hurt him. So, um, and it does have like little illustrations in it and stuff like that. Um, and the font is fairly big, yeah. but I am looking forward to giving this a whirl. I also picked up a few Woodsworth classics. Um, I picked up Peter Pan. I just think these editions are so, so pretty with the foiling and the little quote on the back. Um, has like bright green end papers. It does have uh, illustrations in here. Let me find one. Here we go. 
So I want to add that to my shelf. I also wanted to add the Jungle Book to my shelf in this edition. Nice foiling quote on the back. Uh, this one has dark green and papers and um, this one also has illustrations inside. So I just love that. And then I also picked up Treasure Island, which this is my only edition of Treasure Island. I have other editions of both of these. Um, but I just, again, I love the foiling. I love the quote. And this one has like these lemon yellow in papers. And it also has um, illustrations inside as well. So those are just kind of nice little books to add to my library. Two more books, friend. Okay, so recently my brother-in-law visited. I gave him my copy of The Light Pirates by Lily Dalton Brooks, which I am going to have to replace my copy of. Um, but he gave me a whole bunch of recommendations and he gave me this sci-fi recommendation by Neil Stevenson, Snow Crash. And he gave me so many book recommendations. I like snapped pictures of all of them. And this is kind of giving me Ready Player One-ish vibes. Um, it says, one of time's 100 best English language novels. In the real world, hero protagonist delivers pizza, but in the metaverse, he's a warrior prince, plunging headlong into the enigma of a new computer virus that's striking down hackers everywhere. Hero races along the neon-lit streets of a search-and-destroy mission for the shadowy viral villain threatening to bring about the infopocalypse. It's a mind-altering romp through a future America so bizarre, so outrageous, you'll recognize it immediately. So it's quite chunky, so I'm definitely going to have to get the audiobook for this but I'm looking forward to reading it and then being able to tell them I crossed one off the list but there are definitely several others that I'm keeping my eye out for like on Pango when I go to the book exchange things like that and then the last book that I picked up is The Wedding People. I've just been hearing such great things about this book and I wanted to go ahead and snag my copy before I forgot about it. Also, the cover is just beautiful. A propulsive and uncommonly wise novel about one unexpected wedding guest and the surprising people who help her start anew. So that is my September book haul. <laughs> So those are the books that I'm hauling this month quite a bit, but I'm so excited about all of them. Let me know which ones you are the most excited for me to read. Some of them are definitely planned for 2025, so I won't be getting to them for a while. But again, keep your eyes peeled for a little announcement mid-November about some of these books. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video very soon. If you're looking to leave an emoji, leave the book stack emoji because I definitely have a big stack of books here. But that's all for today's video. I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night and I'll see you guys again in another video very soon. Bye friends. <laughs>